The views and opinions of this podcast are solely our own and in no way meant to offend or upset anyone. We ad lib, paraphrase and imitate to convey reviewed content only. It's a bit of a laugh. Enjoy! I'll be the last one left when the lights go out I'm down to one last breath but I can't stop now We all fall down sometimes, yeah but that's just life So cross my heart and hope to die, baby I was born to f- Fight the fear when I feel like dying I'm trying to fly high but I'm not a pilot, can't deny it There's some days I feel idiotic Just a product of a system where you're lucky just to make it Hello everybody, welcome back. It's What's the Script, it's Series 2, Episode 15. And this week it was your man's choice there, the old ways. <laughs> uh, and I picked Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, which is an absolute belter of film. Uh, it's superb. Before we even go anywhere, it's going to be a 10 for me. So... Aye, that's, there you go. I've not even discussed it, and we're both ten out of tens because this is just sat and watched it again last night. I must have watched I've, oh, easily over a hundred times. I've watched this. I just sat smiling. The part yeah. I've written about it, but um, I'd love to know what you think about it. If I think we're, we're talking crap or no, but uh, I don't think we are, especially because I've got the the hat on and the spectacles there, Junior. <laughs> I thought I was your normal glasses there. <laughs> They are, the prescription. Are they? <laughs> they are, but they're uh, very Henry Jones. Mm-hmm. Uh, before we get right into it, mate, uh, I'll just give a shout out to Wendy from Exeter. Um, she's an expat living down there in the wilds of Exeter. Uh, <laughs> and she's a, a work colleague of Mark from the Time and Space Pod. Uh, so Mark and all the boys on Time and Space Pod, Thanks for your support. Thanks for uh, giving us more likes and more shares and all that. We fully appreciate it. And I would say, MD, it's got an inkling of a liking to Doctor Who. Get on that because it's factually brilliant and funny as well, man. <laughs> so there you are for all you Exitorians, if that's what you're called. <laughs> Exitorians. there listening to us. So, in there, Jones, Last Crusade, just starts, mate, didn't it? Uh, and it takes you back a bit to Utah, 1912. Aye, out in this desert. <laughs> when we're following a... Wait, are they Boy Scouts? I take it that's Boy Scouts, eh? Scouts. Aye, Scouts. They're not boys, they're men. Young men. <laughs> their bosses. I think they're just... Young just... men! <laughs> young men. Oh, young men. <laughs> Aye, they're out in the... Well, as if we just picked up from where we left off, we broke narrow. <laughs> Aye. <laughs> In the Wild West there. Aye. And it's a young Indiana, um, played by River Phoenix, which was his last ever role before mm-hmm. he passed away. Um, here and now, man, River Phoenix is a young Harrison Ford. It's just... You're thinking it's him? Aye. Oh, that's what he says. Apparently, uh, Phoenix would just watch uh, Ford off camera and mm-hmm. just mimicked him. No, actually mimicked... <laughs> Indiana Jones, mm-hmm. and it kind of you can see it, can't you? <laughs> Aye, because that's why we're saying he's no, we're not saying he's a young, he's a brilliant young Indy, he's a brilliant young Harrison Ford. Aye. The acting style's to a T, man. Just looks people in the eye, he's all hand movements, his head doesn't move. Do you know <laughs> what I mean? Brilliant. <laughs> so they're, they're going a, a bit of cave exploring, aren't they? Aye, just dismount. <laughs> Aye, and they're in this cave somehow, but then they, they come across these, what are they, Tomb Raiders or something? Aye, aye. You know what I mean? Because I'm kind of like that. Uh, Indy, is this not what you do later on in life, but you're affronted by these boys? <laughs> <laughs> aye, because everybody goes down to one cave and then he just hears some noise for another wee cave and do you say, mate, there's a, a wee squad of people in, they're, they're digging, excavating, looking for something in particular. Excuse me, and... Um, He's watching all the time, and then they find it. They find what they're looking for in it. And it's the cross of Coronado. Yeah, just <laughs> this big gold jewel encrusted cross. It's immaculate. <laughs> yeah, and he instantly obviously knows the significance, how old it is, where it's from, what era, and who it belonged to, and stuff. And you notice that one of the uh, the team who there, what they were in. See the wee guy keeps going. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> I, I did recognise him, but I can't remember what the fuck it is. 
Nightmare on Elm Street 3. Is it? He's a puppet guy. He's a puppet guy. That's fucking it. <laughs> <laughs> he was sleepwalking. I say fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Uh, Aye, because they look like a fucking bunch of cartoon characters, them, didn't they? They do. They do. And then um, right away, the leader of them looks like Indiana Jones, doesn't he? Aye. This is what obviously where he's taking his look for. <laughs> this guy. So they put it down and all that, and then they go back to their dig, and then dig is down the rope and sneaks the cross, doesn't he? Aye. And then climbs back up the rope, all chuffed with himself. Aye. And all it does, because he sent his wee pal away, hadn't he? He go and get the, the fuzz. And, but aye, he's not even scared of the snakes at this point either, and you know, just yeah. picks up a snake and goes, It's a snake, behave yourself, you fucking chimpy. It's, it's that bit as he's talking to him and his head doesn't move and he's your like, that's Harrison Ford man that's no. just <laughs> oh, you sneak brilliant but uh, they, when he's, he's climbing up the rope they, they hear him he snaps like in a beam he's got our thing and then it breaks into <laughs> the fucking family guy hello <laughs> 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 Brilliant, man. You know, man. It's just, I, it's fucking, you can tell it's the same guy done the Star Wars music, you know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> what a see, date, man. At times you're like, ah, I've fucking heard that before. Nah. So he's, he's obviously trying to run away from him. He whistles in his horse, the horse gives him a dizzy. <laughs> just <laughs> road. I know. Oh, and that's, uh, he's getting chased in these, well, obviously these old cars on it, but it's just, what, what horsepower are they, cars? I know, that <laughs> one they can't, they can't catch the one horse. <laughs> <laughs> they can't catch the one horsepower. Um, so they're just chasing across the, the plains in Utah, and then and they notices the train coming. It's a big circus train, isn't it, mate? Aye, circus train with all these fucking weird and wonderful animals. Mm -hmm. But, but aye, so <laughs> next, next thing he's climbed onto this train, isn't he? And he's just fucking darting by giraffe heads and fuck knows what. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's crawling along a wee gantry anyway and the baddies are on the wee gantry and the gantry's like above the animals and it snaps he sees it snapping and he, he goes down and a big giant like anaconda just face to face and he goes <gasps> and he's shocked to get away from the big giant snake he rolls into a crate or uh, like honours of snakes isn't it uh, wee snakes and this is obviously where you get the origin that he's terrified of snakes. Aye, that's but, where the fear is born, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's what's brilliant about this, but see this, it's just, it's giving you, like, everything, you know what I mean? Like, his whole, like, origin story. That's, and it's entertainment, it's not, it's not boring, you know what I mean? Aye, because in this whole act, aye, this whole act, you get his love for exploration, you get his fear of snakes, you get where the scar comes from, and you get how the relationship with his dad is, you know what I mean? Aye. plus his expert. <laughs> Plus his outfit. Well done, mate. On this opening act. So, gets through there, gets back out, he's on top of the train, on top of a carriage, and we Nightmare Elm Street guy jumps on him. Aye. And they're having a tussle. Um, <laughs> Bowled him. as a rhinoceros, isn't there? Aye. And it's, aye, it's, like, they knock something, a lantern or something into it, and hits it in the head, and that sets it off, and it starts, it's a bit, this is the thing I don't understand, like, right, they're obviously some sort of hardened criminals, right? Because this guy's trying to stab him at the time. But it's like, later on, I'll talk about what I mean, but uh, he's wrestling with a thing into it, and the rhino was popping its tusk or its horn or whatever through the, the roof. Aye. Just and right just, up through the ceiling. Aye. And the last one just goes between the legs, and that's where he, the two of them just stop what they're doing and look at it, and he goes, holy shamoli! <laughs> I still use that for this day, man. <laughs> holy shamoli. Uh, holy shamoli brilliant no, so it gets away from him um, on top of the train he's kind of get one's in front and one's at the back and he sees the water tower doesn't he and he just grabs onto that he grabs onto it swings right round doesn't he to another uh, carriage uh, yeah. the physics never was going to get him out of that he was going to get back to the same place <laughs> but when he's uh, back on he's, he's right in front of India look like guy uh, the leader. He's also got a skill. Yeah, uh, this is very true. Right, but he's backing after him, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Saying this this thing, this cross the, belongs in a museum. Aye. And the next thing he falls through this opening, didn't he? Aye. <laughs> it's just, 
but his hair covers this fucking monster that's right in front of him. Brilliant, man. He just peels it away like a, a set of curtains, didn't he? His hair. Right. And his face <laughs> by fucking King of the Jungle, man. Yeah, this big fucking daddy line. Big Mufasa. <laughs> <laughs> and I usually eat the antelope, but today I will eat you. <laughs> but the next thing is he's got the whip as well. This is where the whip comes from as well. Yeah, he just sees a whip hanging up, decides to use it. And as you say, his first crack of the whip leaves him with a big cut shin, doesn't it? Aye, that's it. This is the origins of the scar. Just moulding the, the actor and the character together. Yeah. But, so, he's uh, kind of, well, bad indie, we'll call him, right? He's at the top. He goes, like, throw up the whip, kid, throw up the whip. <laughs> goes a whip up and he, he rescues him, doesn't he? Aye. See, again, this is something like that. Two minutes ago, the bad guy was trying to stab him to death. <laughs> <laughs> know what I mean? Yeah. But they lift him up and they try and take this cross off him, don't they? But he's we and he's got something up his sleeve, hasn't he? <laughs> A yeah. snake. Snake comes out and the other wee guy comes into a three year old girl and <laughs> snake. <laughs> and then he gets away again. So he gets into the next carriage, which is the magic carriage. And he gets in there and he realizes it's the last carriage in the train, it's a dead end. And he just jumps into a magician's box, doesn't he? Aye. And as he's coming in, the leader comes in and sees him going in. See, this, this always baffles me because I don't know how it works. <laughs> oh. It's magic, mate. It's magic. Uh, magic! But uh, the next thing, the box in, they climbed into, collapses in it, and there's nobody in it. And then the bad guy goes to the, the door, to the garage and opens it. And he just sees young Indy taking off into the distance, didn't he? But yeah. the camera pans in on him, and he's like, he's obviously pissed off, but at the same time, he's respect me, man. Respect. Right. <laughs> you, son. you have tickled me. I like. <laughs> but, um, I like the cut of your jib. <laughs> <laughs> so, young Indy just hot tails at home to his dad's house, and he's running right in. He's, dad, 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 Junior. <laughs> no, dad, you listen. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Out to town. He's too busy working on this diary, ain't he? Aye. And look, I'm kind of wondering at the same time, right? Because obviously, the the law must have come into the house, right? At that point, I'm thinking your dad would have got up and right, right? What, what's going on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> know what I mean? Aye. But it's obviously a testament to how this passion of his is just. Took everything off him. He's just so engrossed, and he's actually at the bit where he's he's drawn something new into it. So that will obviously be consumed to be. Oh, he's got a lead, so he doesn't. He he tells Junior to count in Latin, and as you say, mate, when Junior starts counting, that's when <laughs> his fat pal comes in with a. <laughs> I brought the sheriff. <laughs> he reminded me of Lardass at a stand by me. Aye, <laughs> uh, but the next time the lawman comes in, doesn't he? It looks like fucking Wyatt Earp. Know what I mean? Aye. <laughs> but aye. The man I wanted to see. There were five or six of them. I went, hold on. Do you still have it? Well, yes, sir. It's right here. I'm glad to see you then. <laughs> Takes off. <laughs> boy. But, uh, <laughs> First game, boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck's sake. Aye. But the next thing, all these bad guys come in. Aye. These are the right owners of this cross. We've got five witnesses saying you stole it. <laughs> like that. And you're going, oh, you bastards. <laughs> Law in their pocket. Um, so Big Bad Indy comes in, sees that he's, his young cohort is doing the dumps. And he just says, look, kid, <laughs> this is a daft statement, right? It says, you last today, kid. Doesn't mean you're going to like it. <laughs> no going to like it, mate. If I said something like you lost today, kid, doesn't mean you're going to lose tomorrow. Do you know what I mean? Something uh, like that. But I bet tomorrow's another day. <laughs> uh, Everybody he knows just likes losing, man. <laughs> but it's what, it gives you one of the best transitions in movies anyway, doesn't it? Sure, fair. The next time he takes his hat off and puts it on young Indy. And the next thing, when he, he moves his head back up, it's Harrison Ford, on it? Aye. On a boat. 26 years later, smiling, yeah. 
by getting held back with some goons on a boat, as you say, mate. All hell's breaking loose storm wise. It's water coming in and he's getting punched into. So we quickly realise that he's on the boat and then we see the wee guy with a Panama hat coming down the stairs. <laughs> you're, you're, you're quintessential bad guy. Well, a white suit, wear the rose, the hat, and a cane. <laughs> Aye. Uh, do you know, if they'd have done it, they could have done it in a certain way where. It could have been Belloc for the first one. Because when yeah. you first see Belloc in the first one, he's the exact same, he's the exact same suit, exact same hat and all that. And about 20 million scenes in that film, man. But yep. there we go. Yes, who he is. It's just referred to as Panama hat on yeah. IMBD. So <laughs> up to Indiana Jones and says, This is the second time I've had to reclaim my property from you. And he pulls out the cross again, doesn't he? Aye. 26 yeah. years later. Aye. See, I was chasing this thing down his whole life, isn't he? And he says, what is it? It belongs in a museum. Aye. And uh, so do you. And I'm like, <laughs> listen, you dick, you're older. <laughs> I know. You've got a limp, man. You're broke. <laughs> <laughs> you've, got a, you've got a cane and you're not even a pimp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in my prime, sir. How very dare you. So he says, just says to his goons, throw him over the side. I know. And I, it's just, it's good practical effects, not that, isn't it? All these big massive waves on this boat and all that, but Indy eventually he, he escaped somehow, didn't he? Aye, the, cr- the cross ends up getting knocked out the Panama hat guy's hand with the, the weather and it's sliding perilously to the close of the edge of the boat, just about to get off. Indy kind of gets his selfie of the guns, starts fighting with him, obviously hooking him. Aye. And then Jones punches are the best Aye. sound effect punches in any film, man. Aye, uh, what I'm see another thing. I need to count how many punches he throws per film. Because there's a lot. And there's a sev- his horns must be in fucking bits, by the way. <laughs> He's threw me up punches in Muhammad Ali, I swear. Soaks his, soaks his horns in vinegar for six months before he does a film. But aye, there's some noise off him. But he slides to the edge of the boat, gets the cross, uh, then he climbs up to the top of these crates, which like neatly let you see that they're full of explosives Aye. and it swings out to sea and lands off the boat just in time in it Aye. and you just see this this boat explodes and he just what is it grabs away the, the ring the flotation uh, device <laughs> <laughs> it's a flotation device grab it <laughs> and did you see the name of the boat as it went down oh is it no Corona or something no the Coronado there you go, Coronado. So, Panama Hat named the boat after the guy that he retrieved the, the gold cross off it, which was just a wee, wee Easter egg there, which yeah. doesn't mean nothing to anybody. <laughs> <laughs> but so, uh, they must float back to civilization somehow, but you don't see how that happens. No, you don't, because he's just off the Portuguese coast there, but he's been floating a bit. Uh, there's a few films where people that go overboard always seem to be picked up by Portuguese fishermen. Aye. It happens in Family Guy. <laughs> it happens in uh, Overboard. <laughs> it's happened in a few other things, man. Uh, the Portuguese are mad for sailing. Aye, so, aye, so if you're going to fall off a boat, dating the Portuguese coast, are right out there? <laughs> but we quickly, we're back in campus and he's just teaching one of his lectures, isn't he? Aye. And it's just, again, it's just full of all these young women, isn't it? Aye. I'm just lost in his eyes. <laughs> I always remember watching uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark when he was in the, the lecture theatre and the lassie blinking her eyes and say love you on her eyelids for him and I oh, felt dead weird because I was only a wee boy. <laughs> I can't wait to go to school. I'm going to be a teacher, man. <laughs> he's teaching his class, obviously history is his, his thing, and he's saying to them, look, truth is never fact and X never ever marks the spot. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Try to dispel the theory that Life isn't about treasure maps and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Despite the fact that's what he seems to do for majority of his life. <laughs> I know, I know. <clears throat> but uh, Marcus comes in just as the bell goes. And then as, as all his class are leaving, Harrison has a right pervy look at the lassies, doesn't he? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> Some focus. <laughs> Love you, Phil Hartman. 
weekly shout out to the master. <laughs> Exploring too. <laughs> Cooking up a class in here. Oh, oh no, man. So good, man. And I'm going to go and East Side and BD, find his filmography now and try and get some of your films off again. But uh, oh. aye, so Andy said, all right, look, pre 1990, look at the young lasses in his class. <laughs> <laughs> Got pretty skin. <laughs> but... <laughs> I want to smell you on me. <laughs> But uh, I so Marcus has come in. Did you get it, Indy? Uh, he's a uh, hi. Of course I did. You know how long I've been searching for this oh. all your life. But, oh my! Right. <laughs> so he goes like, "We can discuss my fee tonight over dinner and champagne. Your treat." Uh, oh yes, oh yes, my treat, my treat. Hey, Marcus is still <laughs> like stunned with the look at us. Yes. <laughs> I treat. <laughs> fly, fly. Oh, fly, fly. I mean, Indy then goes to must be where he's... Where is his office? A fucking... A stockroom or something? You know what uh, I mean? Aye. But it's obviously a fault with students that why to talk to him about whatever it is. But there's no chance he's going to talk to them and he just... He's like, see, mate, his, his actual office is in like... It's like a cupboard in it. It's like a storeroom cupboard. But you've got a waiting area outside the storeroom cupboard and right. you've got a secretary. <laughs> and it's still what all the, all the uh, as you say, mate, all your students are all that I speak to him. But he says, look, take their names. I'll see them all individually. And he's in his wee cupboard, puffed it. Uh, and plus he's, he's received like, some sort of parcel from Venice as well, isn't he? Aye. Uh, Venice, like Italy. Aye. Uh, <laughs> Venice, <laughs> Beach, <laughs> California. You know what I mean? Uh, but the next thing, he's just... Nah, I'm not, I'm not dealing with this shit. He climbs oh. at the window, doesn't he? Because his store cupboard has a screen door on it. <laughs> <laughs> and it just looks like the Walking Dead where the horns up. <laughs> I must see you. Aye. Look at me. That's what my veins. Look at me. Look at me. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. <sighs> um, so I mate, he's just, he's like, Pff. no chance, ducks at his window. I know. Next thing, it's like the usual fucking bad guy thing into the bad guy's intro. Just these guys sitting in cars looking shady and it's dun dun dun. <laughs> uh, you get the one guy to come out and ask can you come with us please? And the, the rest of the guys in the motor take surround them. Uh, you're intimidating. <laughs> um, but it turns out it's not so bad. He's, he's at a cocktail party in the next scene. Uh, Donovan's, isn't he? Uh, this is where he meets Walter Donovan. Who was a bad bastard on the planet Hoth? <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, it was. Uh, but I, he starts asking India about this holy grail stuff and all that, it? And he pulls out this tablet. <laughs> pulls it. Oh, yeah, hey, hey, not my tablet. <laughs> it weighs a ton, but I'm just going to pull it out. <laughs> I keep it in my inside pocket, you see. <laughs> Uh, it's well, a big missing section. It's a big stone tablet with inscriptions and story on it. And they quickly converse to each other about the story of the Holy Grail and the Knights Templar and all that, looking after it and stuff. Kind of laughing about it's a bedtime story. But as they talk on, Indy gets more intrigued because Walter says to him, look, we'd like you to come on board and find the rest of the missing tablet and blah, 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 didn't he? Aye. You cut the wrong chunks. <laughs> He's practically saying there, there, there was another tablet as well, isn't it? He's like, so that you can, he's like, you can see it there. It, it tells you where this thing is. We just need to find out this other piece of the tablet. Aye. Like he says, nah, you should talk to my father about it. He's he's more involved with this sort of thing. Aye, it's when he shows him the friar's transcript. Yeah, it's like the like the friar's diary or the the actual crusade mm -hmm. to say, look, it was written down, so it's happened. It's actually happened. He's yeah. merry and treat. Says, you got the wrong Jones, Donovan. <laughs> you should be asking my father. <laughs> no, my dad, but uh, he was the head of our, our yeah. operation. He's went missing. Yeah, well, it's, uh, uh, the head of the operation has went missing. 
and I uh, we did speak to your father, but he has went missing, and then it's <gasps> dun dun dun. <laughs> Close up camera. I'm all concerned. And the eyes. Not daddy. <laughs> daddy. <laughs> daddy was there. <laughs> Take me to the grill. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. <laughs> uh, but that second tablet, they think, is located in Venice, isn't it? But... Yes, yeah, so that's where his father was last seen. But uh, Andy decides, I need to go and check on my dear papa. <laughs> and he goes, <laughs> Papa, Papa, how are you him, Papa? Uh, but him and Marcus go into uh, Joan Senior's house, don't they? Henry Swiss, aye. aye. And it's been ransacked. Aye. But only behind a big giant curtain. Aye. Yeah. <laughs> In house curtains. I know. So, what were they looking for? And then Andy just realises in his pocket this, and Ben is actually it's marked, and he opens it up, and it's his dad's grail diary, isn't it? Aye. And Which is, is the Bible Aye. of the film. Aye. And uh, this is that they decide, isn't it? We're going to gonna go to Venice, and we're going to find Feather. And even we, Marcus, is like, that. I will take two tickets, I'm coming with you. Because <laughs> he wants a hold of that boy. <laughs> oh, he's a dirty bastard. <laughs> he's seen the opportunity. Yes, I'll uh, get the museum to fund it. We'll make it two tickets. <laughs> but, uh, you see this journey, didn't you? And it stays in times, doesn't it? This, you need to ping about for location to location to get to Europe. It's not just a straight flight air anymore. <laughs> it's a, it's um, and it's classic Indiana Jones montage. Where it's faded between two pictures, him on the plane looking at the diary, having a drink, with the plane going over the map. Do you know what I mean? With the music yeah. playing. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Brilliant, man. Uh, but I was they're supposed to meet this Doctor Schneider, didn't they? Aye, but just before I just before they leave on the plane, it's, they see Donovan says good luck and don't trust anybody. <laughs> Aye. Okay, Walter. <laughs> Aye. But they land in and they're in Venice. And the next thing they bump into Dr. Schneider, who is in fact Eliza Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa. Aye. Uh, just before they just get off the boat and <clears throat> Marcus is like, uh, uh, well, how are we supposed to know this Dr. Schneider when we, when we see him? Just assume my doctor's a guy. So, Aye. You know what I mean, this is the new love interest, isn't it? Then right well, away, should be <laughs> the old ways. Aye, Elsa Schneider, <laughs> Doctor Jones. Uh huh. <laughs> Doctor Elsa Schneider, <laughs> and she's a bit of a look of the lasses, played by uh, Alison Doody, and uh, Beef. <laughs> she when she reviews it, obviously she's Doctor Schneider and she's a female. <laughs> Harrison Ford and uh, we Marcus look at each other and go ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> like <laughs> oh, fuck's sake I don't even think of vagina do you think of vagina? <laughs> Marcus did you think unless it was going to turn up here I just never thought of that oh well, like <laughs> women being doctors <laughs> Who'd have thought? Oh. Might I check my prostate hen? <laughs> right to getting poked in the ass. <laughs> but she, she, it does go like that. I, I'm Dr. Jones and all that. She said, oh, you, you have your father's eyes <laughs> and my mother's ears, but the rest belong to you. <laughs> I know, mate. But... Oh. It's the best bits all taken. <laughs> uh, I am putty. <laughs> Oh, fucking oh. hell, man. So they have a wee bit of kind of flirtatious back and forth. Will you permit me? They try to get a flower. I usually don't, but I will this time. <laughs> and I'm already sad for tomorrow to be dead. <laughs> and I'll pick you another one. <laughs> Marcus just pops in. Ho, ho, ho. This is all very nice, but uh, shan't we get on to business? <laughs> aye. Oh, but aye. turns out to go back to the last location, isn't it? But 
uh, Elsa was sent to by uh, Henry Senior, and uh, it's this old library, isn't it? It's been converted to an old church. <laughs> Uh, it, is, it just looks like the biggest mausoleum you've ever seen in your life. Um, and she says to him, oh, last time I seen you, last time I seen your father in here, he was getting his schoolboy, yeah? <laughs> getting his schoolboy. Uh, I'm okay, obviously yeah. laying on the German accent thick, even though she's Austrian, doesn't it make a bloody bit of difference. Um, but as soon as they're in the library, she goes away to arrange to keep it open a wee bit longer so they can have a investigation. <laughs> and uh, Marcus, they look at a big stained glass window, didn't they? And Marcus realises, but I've seen it before. It's in your dad's diary. Hi, and this is it. And it's he's wrote down what is it, the Roman numerals and stuff. Yes. And that's when uh, Andy starts noticing the Roman numerals, and <laughs> Elsa comes back. Oh my God, I am blind. <laughs> <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> you may take my eyes. But it goes up the wee spiral staircase because he can't find the 10, which is a big X. And he just looks down at the floor and it's a massive big X and he just X marks the spot. <laughs> which is brilliant. Very brilliant writing. Yes. But <laughs> the next thing, like, I'm surprised like, there was no security in this place because it's obviously like, some like, relic building, right? But the next thing he's got, what is it like the like a stand that he goes for the ropes, and uh, <laughs> just walks in. He's like, "I'm going to smash this antique marble floor to fucking bits." Aye, with a hollow piece of brass. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, I know when he's up there and he says X marks the spot. You see the bookshelf behind him; it's all fake, all fake books. Uh, aye. Just, <laughs> terrible. But see, I remember this as clear as day in the cinema. When obviously he's battered on the floor, it coincides with a librarian stamping the books. And it's the first time I've been to the, the theatre and <laughs> everybody's just laughed loudly and I was taken aback by it, you know what I mean? It was it was, yeah, it was, it was comical. This is <laughs> the wee guy looked like Albert Einstein. <laughs> I was going to say that. And then it's even in, he goes like that, looks at it, and then puts it down like that. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> Oh, it's the last book I'm stamping. Four days for retirement. <laughs> Phones the wife. Where do we get in? You'd get it. <laughs> Aye. So they lift up the, the marble and right away, man, Mad Elsa's. Oh, he's so it's a big hole on the floor. Lower me down. <laughs> well, I, I don't know what's in here, but lower me down. Right one to a couple of skulls and all that, isn't it? Aye. Right away, man, it's just this underground tomb for thousands of the uh, dead. Well, can run about thousands of alive, Craig, Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're down there. Uh, we people are dying to get down there. Uh, and <laughs> then, then... This is when we get the movie later again, isn't it? Aye. Uh, a wee zippo, whoop, and the next thing, it illuminates everything. Aye, oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, oh, it's daytime. Aye. Uh, <laughs> All the while, Marcus is up there looking into this black hole. Aye. And the Fez boy, he doesn't notice the Fez boys. Aye, the, the Tommy Cooper uh, supporters club. <laughs> and they sneak up Marcus and no, take him out, obviously. Aye, knock him straight out. I'm absolutely brilliant, but in here is they're, they're going through the, the catacombs, as they're called, and they're seeing scripture on the wall. Mm. He just points at that one. She says, what is this? The Ark of the Covenant. Aye. Are you sure? <laughs> Pretty sure. <laughs> I, I, it plays the music, does it? Aye, the first film. Brilliant, aye. man. But, uh, aye. Next thing, he finds this X on a wall, doesn't he? And again, X marks the spot. And he knocks it through. And... Puts it through with Butty's shoulder. Aye. <laughs> and you get this. It's petroleum, isn't it? Aye. Petrol, as we call it. River of petrol, man. Aye. And us. it makes a quick, Jesus, I could sink a well down here and retire. Aye, exactly. Or if you're American, it's full of gas. It's full of gas. Gasoline. Liquid, liquid gas. <laughs> I've, always, I've always sat uneasy with this bit of the petrol river. I think it just makes me think about what it would be like to sift through a river of petrol. It must smell, taste and feel horrible. Aye. But then... 
to we'll use. Explain, we could explain why he's throwing all these punches later on, but <laughs> if he steeped his horns in petrol. <laughs> Aye. Sending them a journey. <laughs> Very quickly decides to use one of the, the dead skeleton's arms and wraps it in cloth and dips it in the petrol and lights it. And then sifts through this river a petrol with a naked flame. Aye, this is, is into the aye, it's dripping, and I'm uh, I feel, I feel the Zippo lighter was adequate. You <laughs> know what I mean? It was, it was lighting up most of Europe. You know what I mean? Yeah. Aye. But, so they're sifting through. There's an absolute bevy of rats, man. <laughs> Yeah, bastard. I was going to say that. I was going to say that. I bet I was. You, you missed your opportunity to talk about Henry and the Grail Diary being a vast audio. <laughs> no, no, that's all. We do. That's not coming back. Ah, yeah, it's, it's never going to go anywhere. Um, no. See that? See that? I, I, hats off to the to the actors for for working through the rats. Mm. I mean, we've had experience uh, of work the last couple of days of just a few and all that, and one ran up my arm and... Uh, <laughs> oh, wasn't it right? <laughs> well, but, I think the ones were bred specifically for the movie. Aye. And it was so they didn't, the one they riddled with diseases. No, no, I don't doubt that at all. Still. Aye. aye. You know what I mean? Because... It's just a wee hairy mouse. <laughs> it's, you know, it's a big hairy mouse. <laughs> and see the thing, doesn't matter what, if the rat's trained or no, see when you put water at her, a rat, it will do anything to get away from the water. And you see that, but mm. rats getting away from it, and they see her face right close to it. No, that or kudos, man. Well done, Aye. well done, dog. <laughs> <Schnag. laughs> so they find well. the two Mr. Richard, mate, didn't they? Aye, uh, but unbeknownst to them by this time, the the rocks, the rock fezzy crew are, are <laughs> on, aren't they? Aye, aye, uh, Tom, <laughs> Tom, you could buckle Oh. oh, I walked oh. into a bar. I know I did because it was sore. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't think I good Tommy Cooper. Oh. I think it was sick or something when he died. Uh, but uh, I, the next thing they find, <laughs> they find this this shield into it, and it's the tablet into it. And Aye. the two muscle Richard, they take after the coffin's lid and the shield is the same as the tablet that Walter Donovan had, but it's complete into it, mate. Aye, and he starts. He finishes the rubbing that his his father had taken, and the next thing, my dear sir, just like your father, <laughs> he was a schoolboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you! I can see you in some shorts with a knapsack on your back. He is a schoolboy. Aye, just... if only your father could have been here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he wouldn't have made it past the rats. Really? Yeah, he hates rats. He's sick to death of them. He can't stand the rats. <laughs> Edging know. away. You're getting off on it, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> like the, next thing, <laughs> the next thing, the Tommy Cooper Club, just they light a match and just light the petrol on fire. Just like that. Just like that. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Oh, July. Oh, that was good. <laughs> oh. Angry old pervert. I don't sound like Tommy Cooper. <laughs> so, Indy can hear. And it, fire. Rats, <laughs> up. I can hear fire. But he can hear the rats screaming and awe, right. like coming towards him. So he looks round and he can see the tunnel illuminating. Quickly realizes, oh, here somebody's somebody's dropped a match in here. <laughs> Flip Aye. over the coffin, the two of them duck under it. That's pretty cool, man. That's uh, quick thinking, isn't it? But obviously, he leaves uh, Elsa to go and find an escape, didn't he? And <laughs> don't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> and she's under his coffin, but then the rats all start pouring in through the wall. Start pouring in and eating her eyes. <laughs> One tries to I am not eating like a schoolgirl. <laughs> I'm eating like a cannibal's dinner. <laughs> but he's quickly back. And he's like, deep breath. Mm. He's fun and escape. Hurrah. Uh, um, 
and then they came out the the manhole cover in the middle of the square in Venice, didn't they? <laughs> I know these people are out for lunch with white suits and the like, and they're just, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the second time he says, ah, oh, Venice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. But the next thing, I, the, the Fez gang, didn't they? They start, they start pulling out this library. Aye. And they need to make an escape and they run to these V speedboats, didn't they? Aye, that's the second time we hear the chase montage. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but they get to the jetty and they go on the, the speedboats, as you say, mate. Um, and just as they're pulling away, one of the Fez boys just bolts and jumps, and it's pretty impressive, man. Aye. Hands in the back of the boat. Leaps like a gazelle. Because <laughs> ever so majestically, the Fez stays on. Aye. Fez stays on there. <laughs> Uh, that's, even, that's a theme in this. Hats don't come off your head very easily. Aye, uh, windproof. Hats and brollies not at all windproof in this film. The next thing, Elsa's driving the, this boat, isn't she? And Indy's fighting with a guy. Well, there's another couple of boats, uh, the Fez crew. And <laughs> it was it? He shouts, don't go between the boats. And Aye, she obviously mishears them. Like, go between them? Are you, are you mad? Go between them? Are you crazy? <laughs> uh, so she goes is that, is that you, Kim? <laughs> hey, Bert. <laughs> but oh. they said, oh, Andy deals with a guy on the back of the boat, didn't he? And he's saying, I told you not to go between the boats. And obviously, it's still a mix up, which is quite funny, but you can't yeah. portray it again, not what I mean? She. Uh, she, I forgot to look to see where what body of water this chase was on, and it is a vast body of water. I think you'll agree. Um, you see the the buildings at the side, not that and the cranes. Absolutely, it just looks like the Clyde. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it back, and maybe just odd dockyard kind of warehouses have got the same roofs, right? right. Which I, I'm not saying it is the River Clyde. Now, right? I'm not saying that, but. You could be a mistake for thinking that. By the way, is that? Is that? No. <laughs> Watch it and you'll see what I'm talking about. Aye. Um, but it's, the chase is excellent. Uh, the, the boat that was falling between the two ships gets crushed, and what's left it comes skating out onto the water, which is excellent, man. Aye. And uh, before we know it, their, their boat's kind of been shot to bits. Aye, smoking, isn't it? Dun-dun-dun. Dun-dun-dun-dun. <laughs> <laughs> going towards a big giant set of propellers. Aye. Aye, because Andy's, uh, the guy's leapt onto the boat, isn't he? And Elsa's That's on the other boat. Aye. And he's setting about him and he's interrogating him where this boat's getting sucked into this propeller, getting broken into bits. And he's <laughs> shouting at him, why are you trying to kill me? Because uh, you're looking for the grail. He's like, no, no, I'm looking for my, I'm looking for my dear papa. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't give a shit about the grail. I just want my family back. <laughs> I just want my family back. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Um, so I, and that's, by the way, effects wise, not that excellent, getting sucked into this boat, the rudders, uh, propeller even, and it getting chopped to bits and stuff is excellent. Aye. He goes, uh, look, if you don't tell me we're both going to die, and he goes, my soul is prepared. How about you? <laughs> no, I mean, now it's going to decide, right? Ah, you've won this round, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> On another boat, isn't it? He does, and he says to him, I'm not here looking for the fucking grill. Know what I mean? I'm looking for my dad. And he goes, and he says oh, that right, well, me, goes, well, if that's your quest, then I'll help you. Aye. Just my drop name. me off at the corner there. <laughs> aye. My name's Kasim. We are the protectors of the, the grill. So right there and then, him that it says there's no such thing as a grill. Why has it been protected for over a thousand years? You know what I mean? Yeah, true, true, um, true. And he just he says, I will tell you where your father is. Let me off at the next jetty. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, your father is being kept in a castle between, what is it, the Austria and Switzerland border? <laughs> Aye, Castle Brumwald or whatever the hell it's called. Brumwald? <laughs> Aye, I can't remember. Brum. Van Stuppen. <laughs> <laughs> it has been kept in the... <laughs> <laughs> the big castle <laughs> right on the border <laughs> Austria, Österreich, Deutschland. 
So uh, the next, the next up. scene, you'll get fucked. <laughs> you've got Indy in a bathrobe, and he's talking to Marcus, and they practically know where the Grail is, don't they? Alexandretta. Aye, and uh, Indy says to Marcus, "You head to Alexandria, and I'll go and get my dear papa." <laughs> But when Indy goes back to his room, uh, it's been turned air, hasn't it? Yes, his room has been uh, turned over, as you say, mate. Goes to get Elsa, walks into her room, and it's been turned over. But she doesn't even notice because she's in the the lavvy, doing her combing her, brushing her hair with the gramophone on. <laughs> do you know what? I know that wasn't the tune, but I knew you were going to do that because that's the one I'd have done. Jive Bunny, first first thing comes she read. She's in there just brushing the life right out of her fucking hair. Aye, washing that rat piss right off her. And then, it's quite funny because it comes into the, the, her toilet and she gets a fright because she wasn't expecting which is quite good. Yeah. And then, oh my goodness, what was he looking for? Aye. And that's, he's like this, because he's obviously kept the diary on himself, hasn't he? And then she goes like that. You had the diary on you this whole time? <laughs> you didn't trust me. I didn't know you. <laughs> and then, it's just, what is it fucking, kiss me, bitch. <laughs> I see before it, he's, he's lead up before the kisses are excellent. He says, look, I like you tag around, blah, blah, blah. But see, from now on, I'm going to start doing things my way, the way I like them. Grabs her. Aye. <laughs> How dare you kiss me? Uh, and she grabs him and starts winching him. Uh, <laughs> Pulls her back again. I, I don't like fast women. <laughs> <laughs> she starts eating his ear. Like, oh, fucking... so, so nibbly. <laughs> and I hate arrogant men. <laughs> oh, so uh, <laughs> they get down and dirty. There's a wee gondola guy singing Juan Carneto. <laughs> and then he just pulls his stuff goes, Oh, Venice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was another laugh a lot scene. And oh. this one, that was excellent, man. Oh, fucking hell, man. So we get to Austria, mate. What happens then? Uh, drive up to this big castle. And Andy decides we need disguises. So it's in the swap place. <laughs> See, in the, the car, that's another thing I, I say. After a movie reference, when he goes, she goes, uh, What are you going to do? He goes, Don't know, think of something. <laughs> I say that quite a lot, mate. That doesn't mean anything to our listeners. I just like to hark back because you forget when you get some of these lines, Fane, and you watch a film and go, That's why I say that. Aye, aye. You did a lot as well, didn't you? Aye, mate. I've, I've, well, fuck's sake. I practically rhyme off, still game. <laughs> but aye, we're good at that and the like and the whatnot. <laughs> you see. <Aye. laughs> Oh, uh, well, where does the coal go? <laughs> but, yes. Uh, <laughs> the, the next thing... <laughs> the next thing, Andy, they walk into this castle, don't they, and he's faking that he's a, a Scottish lord or something. And he goes, where are the tapestries? Where are the tapestries? Aye, <laughs> because uh, it's the wee mad Austrian butler. And he, he walks in. Not before time. Achoo! Look, <laughs> I've gone and caught a sniffle. <laughs> <laughs> He's it Scottish, isn't it? Worst actually. Aye. What is it he says to him? Uh, if you're a Scottish lord, then I am Mickey Mouse. <laughs> <laughs> How dare he? Backhander. <laughs> oh, Brilliant, man. But I uh, know. Walking about this castle, isn't it? And this is where we see our first bevy of Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, they're just in typical Nazi fashion. They're just. <laughs> Orchestrating and pushing things on a map, not that, and mm. on the wire, and do 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 He just looks over, and goes Nazis. I hate these guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck's sake! But uh, I'll, I'll try to find uh, his dad, and he realizes that he's in one of these rooms. How and, do you know? Because uh, it's wired. Clever. <laughs> <laughs> So they get into the room next door to it, don't they? Which is empty. Aye. Um, and he goes to the window. And what he's going to do is he's going to do his whip 
across there, swing over and swing in the other door. It was like, oh, Andy, I'll be right back. This is Charles' play. I do this all the time. <laughs> it, it, it swings over to the guard, going and swings into it. Aye. Crashes Smashes. through. Aye, crashes through the window, right? Now, I'll get back to that, right? But he goes in there, and the next thing he's, he's clubbed the other up with a vase, and it. <laughs> and it's just he's there. <laughs> Go for it. Junior! <laughs> yes, sir. I can't even do it. It is you, Junior. Oh, what are you doing here? here? <laughs> oh. I'm here to rescue you, Dad. Oh, I'm. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry, boy, but I thought you were one of them. <laughs> they come in through the door, Dad. Oh, good point. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's a pure DiCaprio me moment. Oh. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, man. But I, uh, the next thing he's like, he's, he's pure concerned about this vase. And he's like, oh, it's, it's a crying shame. Uh, oh, it breaks the heart. <laughs> and the head. You hit me, Dad. <laughs> I'll never forgive myself. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> he actually thought about his heat. So the chemistry between the two, right away, after that, you could you could be forgiven for watching this, no knowing who they were and thinking they were actually far on the sun. Aye, definitely, man. It's just, oh. But, see, <laughs> see Sean Connery. See, <laughs> he realises it's a fake. He's like, it's a fake. <laughs> Wait, she... you can see with the crosshairs here. <laughs> yeah, flies that away. Dead. And this is what I'm saying. See when he launches that, Indy goes, no, Dad, don't. And then it's the, the smash. Like, they're going to hear that. I'm, I'm sorry, son. You've just smashed through that big fucking window there. I know. I know. And you've got to think the butlers woke up by this time, you know what I mean? Uh, <laughs> but what we really don't know yet is obviously Elsa's in the shadows fucking raising the alarm anyway. Yeah. <laughs> After it's so surprised, I mean, I'm sorry about your head though. <laughs> <laughs> but I thought you were one of them. <laughs> Coming through the door, Dad. <laughs> dad. So cold, Dad. Oh, I... so, the next thing, these Nazis come through, didn't they, with the machine guns? Well, <laughs> well, well hello, Mr. Jones. <laughs> oh, Dr. Jones. The two of them go, yes. <laughs> <laughs> brilliant. Just brilliant. Oh, fuck I will have to dial in now. And they say, what book? Together again. Aye. It's in your pocket. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You don't. <laughs> I mailed it to my son so he wouldn't bring it back here. You don't think my son's an idiot, do you? You didn't bring it, did you? Oh, you did. <laughs> <laughs> I should have mailed it to the Marx Brothers. <laughs> you take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> <sighs> well, wait, man, for the next second, I Andy fucking takes out these Nazis, didn't he? He goes, where is it? J Junior! <laughs> He's like, I told you! <laughs> <laughs> machine gun sees Nazis. Don't call me Junior. <laughs> oh, and he goes, look what you did. <laughs> That's amazing, man. That's amazing. Pure startled father. Look what you did. I can't believe what you just did. <laughs> Nazis are no Nazis, not I mean. My son's just murdered people there. Oh, it's so it. oh. So just before they're leaving the room, it just tells them that the fun, the Thomas or Richard, and he has you sitting there all, oh, did you see him? He was actually there. Yeah, and he goes yeah. like, yeah. But in the name of the city, Alexandria. Alexandria! <laughs> oh, on the way to the pilgrimage. On the way to the Asda. Alexandria. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, Junior, you did it. It's like, no, you did it, Dad. Devoted your whole life to it, blah, blah, blah. He says, I wish I could have been there. No rats, Dad. Oh, the dreaded lucky. <laughs> his wee face, working on something for 50 years. Rats? Oh, no. No, that's us. We're done. I'm not going. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, <laughs> I thought we took up nothing about a know those rats. <laughs> but I'll wait, man. Oh. But as when you've the walk in and Elsa is being held hostage by that fucking Nazi who killed, who fucking tried to rape Wally Wallace's uh, missus. Hello, Lassie. Aye, <laughs> Aye Vogel. Aye. Uh, look, chief Nazi bastard in this film. Aye, that is a badge. Obviously, Indy doesn't know at this time that Elsa's double agent kind of thing. So he's got to bring on point. He's like, give me the book as the Fraulein dies. <laughs> and he'll only listen to his dad when he know man Henry's telling him goes, oh, go ahead she's one of them sure Aye. exactly don't trust her <laughs> but Indy does and he's got a kind heart has her Indy and he throws his machine gun here and the next time she walks there oh and I'm sorry Indy <laughs> <laughs> but you should have listened to your father <laughs> big hair <laughs> <laughs> you know. mad bedhead oh so right. they get taken down to the kind of main room and uh, the the orchestrator of this evil deed is get his back to you in a chair like the guy at uh, Inspector Gadget. <laughs> you look fucking blowfilt. Well, hello, Mr. Bond. <laughs> uh, so he, say, he says to him, says, how did this happen? And then just hear the wee voice coming from there because he didn't hear my advice. Didn't I tell you not to trust anyone? Donovan, you snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate. It's just... I sat and quizzed him into it. Oh, no, we've got the grill, uh, the, the map and everything. We know where to go. And then they're looking through the diary, aren't they? And he goes, there are torn pages out of this. <laughs> and then you just... You see Indy quite chuffed with him. <laughs> and that, that Neil Adder, the, the DiCaprio hang again. <laughs> pages, you say. <laughs> <laughs> That's but, okay, he doesn't have to tell us where they are because I know who's got them, it's Marcus Brody. Oh, mate. And they all know Marcus. And they, they say, he's like, oh, we'll get him, He's like, he'll stick out like a sore thumb. But Indy just counters them. And they don't believe him. They all suddenly believe him. He knows four languages. He's got hair from, he's got friends from here, he is Istanbul. But then he look, he's got the grill already. Because <laughs> <laughs> like, Indy, does anybody speak English here? <laughs> <laughs> He'll blend in, disappear. <laughs> uh, you just say, mate, just nab to be Marcus. It's just lost. <clears throat> so he is cutting a bit. Oh. And he meets Big Salah. Uh, Big Salah is like, oh, Marcus. <laughs> and then, it's the it's... Marcus Brodis. <laughs> <laughs> and they're walking along, aren't they? And then you've got fucking half like a, the Gestapo is already there. The most Nazi looking guy. Aye. Without an actual uniform on, we will take you to the Museum of Antiquities. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, your, your servant, sir. <laughs> so, Big Salah knows the script, man. He's like, ah, There is no museum. <laughs> Run. <laughs> uh, what? Hey, what? <laughs> yes, papers, of course. Run. <laughs> Got them here just this morning. Run. Did you say, Run? <laughs> I bobs them, didn't he? Marcus stole, doesn't he? Run. I know. Uh, Mental. So they have a, back the a market, didn't he? Aye. Salah's like, ah, in here, in here, and puts them into what they think looks like a a store, a Aye. shop. And he's getting ready to fisticuffs with people that have probably already got guns. And then the next thing, they put the back of this truck up, didn't they? And then the, the, uh, the Nazis just brand over it in the head, didn't they? Oh, mate, I just got to say that. <laughs> Doesn't matter where you are, this is the, the Nazi palm tree division. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big swastika with a palm tree in it. It's like, oh, you bastards. Oh, and then nice. The people that were chasing them on the ground don't decide to murder Sola. You know what I mean? Aye. Oh, but funny, man. But see, see a bit before that as well. Indy asks, hey, he's there. How, how, how did she know she could be trusted? And she goes, she talks in her sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sees me face. I have wrote that here. Wee face. Uh, <laughs> not chop myself. Uh, well, I'm assuming there's an X man. <laughs> ships are passing the night. <laughs> I'm assuming there's an X man. I was an X man. Oh. Uh, good point. Uh. <laughs> there's a lot of that, Connery. Oh, <laughs> oh well. Oh. Oh. Bye. 
the two Joneses are tied together, aren't they? Uh, and then Donovan's trio. Aye, fucking Donovan's. Like, I'm away. We need to go to Berlin and all this stuff. <laughs> and she's she's like, oh, thank you. It was memorable. <laughs> and I fucking can't help thinking about how wonderful it was. That <laughs> we had this fucking these back to. Yeah, yes, it was rather wonderful. At the turn in her in. Oh, man. But then she fucking, she kisses him, didn't she? And then she sucks his bottom lip off his face. <laughs> it's actually used today as a bridge over the River Thames in London. You <laughs> get stretched that far. Oh, fuck. Yeah, suspension lip, it's called. That's how oh. we say goodbye. Austria. <laughs> then Big Vogel comes in <laughs> with the gloves, big oh. leathery gloves. And this is how we say goodbye in Germany. Batters him. I punches him when he does his dad's head, didn't he? And then he goes, hey, I, I, I enjoy the Austrian goodbye is uh, better. And he, <laughs> uh, so do I. <laughs> oh, I like your Connery, mate. It's good. Oh. Yes, it's fucking excellent. So, Oh, I've lost my train of thought. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> Aye, so the, the two Joneses need to try and escape, didn't they? Aye. But says, uh, Marcus, you said you had a two-day head start. <laughs> You're kidding. He got last in his own museum once. <laughs> so, um, like, my pocket. What am I looking for? My lucky charm. It's the lighter. Ah, oh, very good. See where he goes again, he goes, feels like a cigarette lighter. <laughs> <laughs> Your boy smokes that fuck sake. Aye, that was brilliant, isn't it? I was, I, I was waiting on that. Remember, first time I seen that, as if he's going to go, You don't smoke. <laughs> but aye, he's uh, trying to use that to bump through the ropes there. And I don't, I don't know what he does, but obviously he burns himself with a flame. But I'm like, Why? Why, why have you done that? <laughs> it's just. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> we cheeky music and he's trying to blow the flame out in this lighter aye and now he's dead it's aye. fire exactly and he's gone he's Done. gone, he's gone. Uh, Junior don't worry dad we'll talk about it once we get here he's like, Junior <laughs> I want to tell you something <laughs> it's okay dad I think he's getting sentimental uh, the floor's on fire what? Uh, and the chair <laughs> oh mate move dad move so the oh. two of them just kind of hop back to back into the fireplace, didn't they? Oh, fucking... Aye, mate. They get to this fireplace. And Andy's like, oh... See how they do it, right? And obviously it pans outside to Donovan in the car. And he gets a telegram for Hitler. Aye. A telegram. Boys. Aye. Fast, faster than we get email today. <laughs> aye, I know, mate. <laughs> Germany has declared walls, war on the Jones boys. Last part. Oh, so oh I Mad Vogel gets a fucking hard on at that, didn't he? Oh, big, big Nazi erection, mate. <laughs> a yeah, big Nazi erection. <laughs> Got a big swastika on it in Britain, mate. Oh, but <laughs> the next thing they're in this, they're in the fireplace, aren't they? And then he's trying to wiggle free, and his leg hits some fucking. Ornament thing or whatever it is. And to the untrained eye, it is but a fire poker just lying <laughs> there, indiscriminate, unused, not to be touched. Until <laughs> Indy hits it with his knee and the fireplace spins around to a hidden room behind the fireplace. Okay. And again, we have an absolute, I would say, bevy of Nazis in uh, there, uh, arbitrarily like high... moving things. <laughs> and uh, it's like high command, isn't it? Just fucking. And then the fireplace spins around again. <laughs> Because our situation has not improved. <laughs> oh, it's too good, man. Uh, so they spin back around again, and this time the wee woman, the wee Nazi woman, turns around with her ugly curtain smile. Hello. <laughs> oh, and then they spin around again. And <laughs> oh, she reminds me the woman for Austin Powers. See the one that sh ends up shagging uh, Dr. Evil? Aye! Mate, uh, was... Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Aye, <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> she got his mom. <laughs> got evil's mom. Oh, fuck. Oh, You're man. evil, man. So they spin back with again. <laughs> That's the first time you hear Tenry say, This is intolerable. <laughs> says that about nine times, man, after that. Oh. So they managed uh-huh. to get free. Well done, boy. <laughs> oh. They're but spinning they, again, didn't they? Uh, they spin round, but they're hiding for these Nazis, and the Nazis come through the, the room, it's on fire. Um, and the Joneses drop out the chimney, didn't they? Da, yeah. da, da, da. <laughs> and uh, Indy, he punches one of them, didn't he? And see the way it's done. The fireplace spins round and it leaves you this Nazi. It's obviously been socked. <laughs> so good, man. Because he's, pun- he's struggling with him before he goes missing and he, he comes round. It's just a Nazi sliding down the wall. <laughs> All the while, Henry's up against his side of the wall. Like, oh, what's happened? <laughs> Let's get on. <laughs> they managed to get the Nazis on the, the side, but it's in fire. Aye. Aye, um, they use a, a bust of Hitler to stop the the fireplace spinning again. Very apt. Oh. Very apt. I like Aye. it. <laughs> very apt. And then they run into a wee, which seems like a dead end room, doesn't they? Aye. And then, <laughs> again, it's uh, Henry Senior and fucking, <laughs> he's just, well... Sometimes you just have to sit down and think. <laughs> Fucking the thing. He says, dude. <laughs> and then Andy does the, com- the comedy fall back down the spiral staircase. It's just appeared. Uh, the oh, situation. Right. He's, just, uh, he's so pleased with himself, isn't he? Aye, brilliant, man. Oh. But this, so, see this next bit? This next bit has annoyed me for years, right? So they get done. Sir. They get to the these uh, speedboats, don't they, at the river. So Indy goes, we're not getting into these boats. And he sets a boat off, right? And it starts going down the river, right? Obviously, as a decoy for the Nazis to start going, right, fuck, they're away in this boat. The Nazis then come down, jump into the boats, but then Indy takes off on this motorbike. Blows his motor, didn't he? Aye, before they've set off. Aye. Doesn't he wait till they're in the open water? Aye. Aye they got away in the bother. Exactly. But he just, didn't he help me sell? Just blew his load. <laughs> right out the crate. <laughs> That's <laughs> but On the bike with his dad in the sidecar. <laughs> and oh. this is a good chase scene in, in that it's no stunt drivers, it's them. You can Aye. clearly see it's them. Well, that's it. Apparently, um, Harrison Ford done majority of his stunts. Apparently there was like uh, apparently there was a see the stunt coordinator had uh-huh. to pull him aside and says you're going to let us day stuff. So uh, kudos man. I wonder if he jumped off that dam in the future. <laughs> nah, <laughs> Who can't knows? Nah. Can't see it. But uh, uh, it's brilliant mate. So they have a wee chase scene um ends up four Nazi bikers on their tail. Nah. Uh, and they're coming up to a checkpoint. It was pretty good, man, innit? Aye, smashes through it, didn't he? And he grabs, what is that? It's a flagpole, isn't it? Aye, he just snaps yeah. a flagpole. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't he rip his arm out his socket, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> um, one of the Nazi bikers has got a head in him and he's coming towards him by this time, so he gets a flagpole and then see wee Henry, oh, what's he, what are you doing? What are you, oh, that's what you're doing, impressive. Uh, <laughs> he's aye, just in this Nazi, didn't he? And he's like, oh, my boy's a knight! <laughs> aye, so, <laughs> jousts the incoming Nazi off his bike, <laughs> who in turn skids off and takes out the other two, but there's Aye. one bear left, isn't it? Aye. And he's coming up beside the two Joneses, isn't he? And he's about to shoot his machine gun, but Andy's still got the rest of this flagpole and sticks it in his front tyre, which catapults him into the air. But <laughs> see the way Andy's real cheese with himself? He's like... And he looks at his dad and his dad's not impressed. Like, <laughs> Aye, he just looks like... Oh. Well, yourself, son, just picks out the pocket watch. <laughs> the time's important, you know what I mean? Aye. Had something on the day. But uh, that's brilliant, man. And then they just get to a crossroads, didn't they? Aye. Get to a crossroads, they're going to go to Venice. And his dad's like, no, we need to go to Berlin to get the diary. Aye. And it turns out there's more in the diary than just the map. You know what I mean? a good bit of dialogue between the two of them now. Aye. He says, um, aye, but my diary's in Berlin. We don't need it, but we know where the Alexandretta is and all that. Says, but there's more in the diary than just the map. Yep. Tells me about the three challenges that they face um, when he gets to the, 
gets there and he goes like, well, what are they? I don't know. <laughs> I wrote them down in my diary so I didn't have to remember. <laughs> and he gets cheeky. Aye. And says, you and, you, and, uh, you and your pals off on some well to say, Jesus Christ dead. And Aye. Henry scuds him. That's for blasphemy. Aye. That's for blasphemy. I remember feeling pure. Aye. Jesus. Just put him right <laughs> <in his laughs> You've done it again. <laughs> What's that? You would slap some for saying Jesus Christ, and that's for blasphemy. And you go Jesus, and then that's for blasphemy. <laughs> nah, and he's obviously sc scalded, which is father and son, brilliant man, absolutely Aye. brilliant. And it just says to me, says the story of the Grail isn't about uh, getting the prize. It's about Aye. stopping the armies of evil from marching across the earth. And you're like, oh, yep. right. So there's a higher meaning to you doing this. You know what I mean? Uh, which you never thought about, but once he says it, you think he's right, you know what I mean? Uh, and then he has another wee dig at him, says, look, I never understood it, and neither did, neither did mum, which hurts Henry. Do you know uh, what I mean? Oh, yes, she did. Oh, <laughs> like, <laughs> well. Aye, uh, uh, it turns out that she, what is it, she had her illness filming on it, so uh, as not to disturb his work and stuff. But so the next thing... They build up the music. Fucking mate, see what is weird as fuck. See all the uniforms in this. They were all actual real Nazi uniforms. Wow. See when they were filming in uh, Berlin, I think it was. Uh -huh. See the costume design or something. They they managed to get a whole deal up two thousand Nazi uniforms. Oh, can you imagine being an actor or an extra and putting that on? Probably knowing that the person that wore it last had maybe uh -huh. highly likely murdered uh, a lot exactly. of people. Well, if that was it. And also, even how we need to do the, the Nazi salutes and like Berlin and all that, uh, Spielberg got all the see the actors with their other horn behind their back to cross their fingers. Ah, cool, man. So, but we get into Berlin, you hear the music, and there's a big hullabaloo, and it's a, it's a book burning yeah. for Hitler and Hitler's honour, who's there. And marching around just like a movie star, really, ain't he? Nah, that's it. And we see a, brainwashed. Wee, a wee pair of feet getting dragged away. And they came out with a, a uniform on. Aye. <laughs> what is it, Angry says? Uh, we're, we're pilgrims in an unholy land. Aye. That's <laughs> one line, mate. We are pilgrims in an unholy land. <laughs> Still amazes me how they're in Berlin. You know what I mean? Aye. Um, so. Hitler, for another wee bit of trivia, is played by the same guy who played Mr. Bronson in Grange Hill. The heat master in Grange Hill. Ah, uh, is it? That's uh, mental, isn't it? <laughs> when you look at him again, you'll be like, ah, so he is, man. I don't, you might be too young for Grange Hill, mate. Aye. But, um, MD of, like, in her 40s and that, will be like, ah, jeez, so it is, it's Mr. Bronson, man. <laughs> it was a, by the way, he was a terrible, he was a, whoa, bad heat master. I think it was Boston Hitler, actually. <laughs> 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 So, so we see, we see Elsa, <coughs> full Nazi regalia, man, leather and hat and all that, just walking about, kind of melancholy. And although Elsa has picked her inside to bat for, you can tell, you're starting to see now that she's no comfortable with the method. She's, she believes in the grail. All she's right. just went with the ring team to try and achieve, do you know what I mean, their goals. That's it, because she's tearing up at the sight of the book burning and all that, isn't it? Because she knows it's rang. That's it. Oh. Must, she's like, this, this, this is a society we're creating. Aye. People want to be uneducated. So, Andy, in his uh, German un uniform, sneaks up behind her and grabs her. Hello, Fräulein. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. Just starts, confronts her about the diary, isn't it? Where is it? Fucking, goes right into her, her inside pocket. <laughs> takes it out, out her pocket, right? And she's surprised, she's stunned. You came back for the book. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> I came back for you, you bitch. <laughs> Aye, you know what I mean? At first I thought that's what it was, but like, like Andy, he must have just thought that all the diary had done it was the map. Maybe that's what she still thinks. You know what I mean? Yeah, but she's obviously, cogs are turning now. Aye. But she just looks at him, I believe in the grail. I don't believe in the swastika. And he says, who gives a damn what you think? And he grabs her throat. And says, all I have to do is squeeze. Uh -huh. And all I have to do is scream. 
<laughs> ah, you've got me there, Hen. But see, is he saying that? If he squeezes hard enough, she, she's no screaming fuck all. Uh, she's no making a squeak. Do you know what I mean? Because you can actually... I know I've watched too many <laughs> true murder programmes and all that, but you can crush the trachea yeah, if you do it right, you know what I mean? Which means you don't have to strangle somebody. If you crush the trachea, you can just walk away and you just suffocate in the rain. So there you go, friendly. Want to be a mass murderer? <laughs> aye. aye. What's the script? Top tips. <laughs> yeah, but first done. <laughs> this is this week's top tip. So just get away from there just before we leave. Like Dad, let's go. I've got the book. And they get caught up in the, the Russian parade. Aye, the hysteria. And the next thing, Andy meets Hitler, did not he? Aye. And he just eyeballs him up and down. Chest to chest with him, man. Aye. And it's and the he's... books there, right in front of him. And obviously, Hitler's obviously a bit drunk with his own power and magnanimous. And strange that a book burning, he takes a book off him. Aye. Signs his autograph in it, Adolf Hitler, gives him the book back. Aye. And then moves on with his parade, didn't he? Do -do -do -do. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's a fan. Oh, Adolf, <laughs> darling, you worked the crowd beautifully. So then we get to Berlin Airport. Aye. The Lufthafen. And. <laughs> the Joneses are going to get a Zeppelin, aren't they? Out of Germany. And <laughs> it's just... The only way to fly. <laughs> and again, it's obviously it's faked and all this, but this big grand fucking Zeppelin sitting waiting on them, know what I mean? It is by no means terrible. It's dated, yes, Aye. but impressive. Very impressive. Because the way they've got them walking up the stairs... And just this big zeppelin, as you say, mate, out in the grass. Um, so and before they've even set off, and he's quite chuffed we sell, we made it and all that. Aye. <laughs> Once we've got Germany behind us, then I'll be happy. Aye. And I'll share your sentiment. <laughs> and no sooner is the bold Vogel charging along, isn't he? And it's Aye. like that mad music. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you know what it's like, Superman? Dun. Oh, Mr. Lumpua. <laughs> Roundly <laughs> bummed up, boy. Uh, Andy gets up to get himself another disguise, isn't it? Aye, uh, without alarming his dad. He Aye. just sees the wee ticket guy and follows him to the toilet, doesn't he? Yep. The next thing, Vogel's on. He's checking everybody. See if it's any of the Joneses. <laughs> he, he just come across. Uh, Henry Singer into it and Aye. he puts his paper down with his cane, doesn't he? And he goes, Why, hello, Dr. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Guten Tag, Herr Jones. Uh, and he Henry's got his specs off, just like that. Uh, up. <laughs> I think I see a fucking thing. Where is it? He's like, uh, Andy ends up behind him, doesn't he? And he will say something in German. And he goes, uh, Tickets, please. And see that actor that plays Vogel? See when he turns around? See his reaction in his face is brilliant, isn't it? Aye, because it, it turns around very mundane as if to just go, look, I'm an officer of the German army, bolt me, man. Aye. He just realises it's Indy. <gasps> but before he can raise the alarm, <laughs> Indy just grabs him, pops him right out the window, doesn't he, man? Aye, punches him and throws him out the window, and then he's fixing his wee jacket, isn't he? Tiny wee jacket, aye. aye. <laughs> and people are all like that. Ah. And he goes, no ticket. <laughs> <laughs> then they all just oh here's my ticket here's my ticket <laughs> again very it's funny. Brilliant, isn't it? and he gets a a look of pure adjuration for his dad like that's Aye. my boy <laughs> <laughs> the old going. ways <laughs> 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 oh that's so good man so <laughs> no sooner has uh, Vogel landed in the luggage than the Zeppelins took half Aye. And then he's getting Versti Stosti Stin. Man shouts at Cloud. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, so but outside the Joneses are conversing, aren't they? And they start talking about how the two of them are pumped, Elsa. It's like, oh, oh, come on. He's like, you're, you're old enough to be a, a grandfather. <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, ships are passing the night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming there's the next man. I was the next man. <laughs> Aye. So then he goes into talking about 
It was a lonely way to grow up. We've hardly yeah. spoken in 20, and that's why we've hardly spoken in 20 years. <laughs> and he goes, actually, I was a wonderful father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know, mate. It's so good, isn't it? How do you figure? Uh, Never tell you to eat up, do your homework, go to bed. No, I did not. And I taught you self-reliance. <laughs> <laughs> I respected your boundaries. No. Uh, what you taught me was that people that have been dead for 5,000 years were more important than me, and I learned it so well that we haven't spoken in nearly 20 years. So he calls his bluff, doesn't he? Oh, right. Oh, well. Go ahead. I'm here. What do you want to talk about? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's gas at Pete, man. I know. It just seems to be a, see, a thing in all his Spielberg's films. I know, I think his dad was a bit distant from him, but it's like, and everything fucking... This, eh, what do you call it? War of the Worlds, not that. Just, Aye. just a distant fader. Like, okay. Aye. See, see, before it, it says that, I know it. It says that's why I left home after Mum died, and he says you left just as you're becoming interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I know. And he's like, "What do you want to talk about?" And he goes, "Say hey, nothing." Then what are you complaining about? <laughs> We've got work to do. So they go through the diary and it talks about three challenges, which um, is the the final three challenges when they get there that they're going to have to face in order to get to where the grail is. Yeah. Um, so they discuss the three challenges and Indy just looks at the table and notices the shadow moving on the candlesticks. Aye. And I realise they're going back to Germany and it plays a bit of music, I swear, is right out of fucking Star Wars. <laughs> I was telling you, man. But the next thing they're like, ah, right, fuck it, we need to escape. And they run down to this. It's like the Red Baron playing into it. <laughs> Come on, Dad. <laughs> Aye, mate. It's the the old Howard Hughes first ever movie, Aeroplane, isn't it? Aye. Double winged F up in the roof. Aye. But the next thing they're in this. Yeah, do you know how to fly this? Ah, fly, yes. Land, no. <laughs> Aye. Um, they release half the Zeppelin and fly away. So they're all chuffed and smiled, and Indy turns around to go, yeah, and then notices the uh, two Nazi jets are coming. While they're doing this, in midair, there's a text you last night, and as obviously you've noticed as well, there is not a ruffle in the hair. <laughs> that's are staying on, but they're meant to be at so many thousand feet in an aeroplane with their heads exposed to the air, you know what I mean? Exactly. But the next thing, uh, Indy says to his fader, didn't he? Now yeah, you're going, and he starts shooting these bastards, fader. <laughs> and he starts going, 11 o'clock, and he goes, <laughs> what happens at 11 o'clock? <laughs> 7, 9, 11, 11 o'clock. <laughs> starts rattling off a machine gun. Uh, and... Fucking, uh, long story short, he ends up shooting the back of the airplane, doesn't he? He shoots uh, the tail. tail. And oh, and Andy feels it in the controls, goes, Dad, Dad, have we been hit? More or less. <laughs> I'm sorry, son. They got us. <laughs> I've always thought that was a pure design fault in that plane. I know, mate. It's a fucking bugs me, mate. It's just... how I mean, see, I... Whatever. <laughs> I mean, if that's your job, if that was what you're doing during the war, so this is this is your bit, you'll be in the cockpit of this aeroplane, you'll be firing the gun, but you've got to remember every time before you come round, you kind of do a full 360 and lift the gun. <laughs> Go for that. <laughs> Mental. No, oh, but I the next thing they start to crash this plane, didn't they? Uh, and they get out <laughs> and the Nazis are still shooting at them. And it's like these people are trying to kill us. I know, Dad. <laughs> it's a new experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> happens to me all the time. And he's always just getting him back his briefcase, isn't he? Take that briefcase at my side. <laughs> so, the, there's a wee guy working on his, his car, and putting a new like hubcap on it. He's just about to put the hubcap on, the car drives away. <laughs> the Jones have took his car, obviously, to try to get away. Aye. And the the jet's coming in at the back of a minute. Aye, sh shooting at them and all that. But they, they <sighs> head for this tunnel, right? And again, that's my that's pilot. pilot for Broken Arrow. <laughs> is blind. Aye. 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 Uh, that's why he makes crashes it. into this tunnel, isn't he? Oh. And he's 
obviously the majority of his jet is still intact as he passes the Joneses in their car and the wee German's looking at him like that. Oh, I didn't see that mountain, did you? It's brilliant, man. He's just way there looking at that as if I can't believe what just happened. He's looking down at him like, <laughs> what a day. And he gets ahead of him. He's gone that fast. His trajectory and explodes at the end of the tunnel, which they drive through. Oh, they don't come much closer than that. <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Oh no, dragging in this big man. fucking pothole. Oh. And again, it's Indy gets out and he has to turn around and shit, sees dad, didn't he? Come on, dad. He's coming back. <laughs> He's coming back. Planes can turn, you know what I mean? Oh, man. So well, they're, on the, they're exposed, but they're on the beach waiting on him coming back for his final assault. And then they pulls his gun out, no bullets. And he's doesn't know what to do, and that's when Henry just looks at all the seagulls, doesn't he? Aye. And he <laughs> he's just starts making a noise, doesn't he? <laughs> starts opening and shutting his umbrella to alert the birds, which is ingenious, to be honest with you. Aye. The birds obviously fly up, the plane flies into them, loses control, crashes, bangs. <laughs> oh, Harrison Ford's acting this, doesn't he open his mouth, and it's brilliant. It just... <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Just looks at his dad <laughs> and his dad's coming back down the beach for the brawly up as if he's not got a care in the world. <laughs> I suddenly remembered my Charlemagne. May your army be the rocks, the trees, the birds in the sky. <laughs> and again, without saying anything, Harrison Ford turns for shock to pure impressive I, love. Know what I mean? I pure impressed, aren't you? And amazement. I've done that. I. <laughs> Love you, Daddy. <laughs> Daddy. It'd be quite funny if Harrison Ford I said to him, Look what you did. I can't believe what you just did. <laughs> oh. So, but, uh, brilliant, man. Oh, fucking superb, man. But it so cuts to the fucking kingdom of his king or something. <laughs> the Republic of Haiti. <laughs> There's no Haiti. As it's H A T A Y. I bet. So what's the other one? Haiti, the one that's next to America. That's different spelling. So I'm calling it Haiti. Haiti must be an old <laughs> province or something. Hata. What you uh, what you calling it? Hata. Hata. <laughs> Welcome to the Republic of Hata. <laughs> right. The Nazis and Donovan are there, aren't they? And they're bribing Aye. this the Sultan fucking Aye, the Sultan. By fucking Alexi Sale. Right. <laughs> One of the worst comedians ever to come out of Great Britain. Oh. Even on the young ones, when he was, he had his wee bit part on the young ones as a wee boy, I was like, who's that? I didn't really get it. Uh, but, but nah. plays a sultan quite well, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> I know. There's got uh, all these things have been donated by the richest families in Germany. Right, uh, bullshit. I see that's probably came for Jews, but here we are. And, eh. Uh, he just clocks as Rolls Royce, doesn't he? And that's his fancy. It's even in my favourite colour. Uh, <laughs> Rolls Royce Phantom 2, 4.3 litre. And I even like the colour. Uh, the keys you... are in the ignition. Uh, I'll give you horses, camels, tanks, you know what I mean? An escort, you're like, oh, fuck's sake. And uh, Darwin just goes, you're welcome. <laughs> no, so now we're travelling through the desert, aren't we? And we... <laughs> But one of, see one of the, the Sultan's entourage, it's wee Kasim. Aye, aye. He's, he's into the grill on that. Aye, he's no one letting us go. Aye. But we're in the motor with Donovan and Marcus, aren't he? And he says to Marcus, care for a drink, doctor? And he's like, I'd rather spit in your face. But since I don't have any spit, that's <laughs> it, you give him that sass, Marcus. <laughs> I know. And then, I always annoyed me and all just before Marcus gets to get a wee drink, that Vogel fucking takes a canteen off him. I know, mate. Fucking bastard. That doesn't one. even drink any, but gives it back to Donovan, you right. know what I mean? Whereas Marcus is like, excuse me, <laughs> I haven't had my drink. <laughs> I know. And fucking, next you've got uh, Salah and the, the Joneses spying on this fucking entourage, isn't me? And he's like, hey, what is that? Ah, get down, Junior. He's like, don't worry, Dad, we're out we're, we're, of uh, uh, range. Next Aye. thing, <laughs> it's brilliant to see Big Salah. He goes, obviously the tank shoots and blows up the motor, and he's like, but, uh, that was my brother-in-law's car. Brilliant. 
<laughs> just before the car blows up and on, they're in it. They're driving. Uh, Henry's just again talking with one of his brilliant lines. He goes, uh, "We're almost there. It's a race to the finish, and in this race, there's no set. There's no silver medal for second place." <laughs> oh, yes. Superb, mate. But uh, I had a sort of the Nazis have blew up a car without knowing whose car or wh what it is. Exactly. And, uh, like, Could it be Jones? It's Jones, all right. Because <laughs> it got dark enough. But it's the, the protectors of the Grail. It's not a Davy. It's the top, yeah. Tommy Cooper fan club again, isn't it? Aye. Just like that. Aye. <laughs> <laughs> but the dumps. <laughs> Thanks. I like to play. Ting. <laughs> so they just came out of nowhere. It's Jones, all right. Aye. Aye, I know. Aye. Then Henry. So who are all these people? <laughs> I know. Who oh, cares, Dad? Let's go. And then he, what is it you saying to Salah? Hey, Salah, I'll get the horses. You, and he's like, hey, I, I'll get the camels. And then he goes, like, no camels. <laughs> I, I mean it, no camels. But Indy, no camels. Oh, but no all way. this riot, whatever's happening. And uh, Henry Senior ends up in a tank to save Marcus, didn't he? Aye. Before they, get, they start doing this fucking stupid rhyme. Oh. Can you solve the restoration? <laughs> AI resuscitation. Henry, what are you doing here? It's a rescue, old boy. Come on. <laughs> but when they go to leave in it, the Nazis come back in, and then this Vogel fucking just takes his leather glove off, didn't he? Aye, it's just, just pure, the most degrading thing you can do at that moment in time, you know what I mean? Start slapping about the face, but you came all the way back here from Berlin for that miserable little book. Why? Why is it so important? <laughs> <laughs> slap, slap, Henry just grabs his, his wrist and says, it teaches me that moronic societies like yourself or something like that had been better reading books instead of burning them. Aye, and he's about to give him another slap, but the next thing, hey, Jones is escaping! I don't think so, Mr. Donovan. <laughs> Not that Jones. This Jones. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> there you are. Like, yes! <laughs> uh, he's riding one horsepower and he's got another four horses beside him. <laughs> See when he meets Salah? <laughs> Salah's knocked about fucking 12 camels. I thought I said no camels. Competition for my brother-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> Competition for my brother-in-law's car. And then what is it he says? Where's dad? They have him in the belly of that steel beast. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so good, man. So, <laughs> Yank chases Indiana Jones. Aye, the tank. Oh, tank. I thought Aye. Yank. <laughs> Why me American guy? Hey, Unhand me, Yankee. <laughs> where you going there, Limey? Um, so a tank chases Indy and it's <laughs> having pot shots at them. Oh. It manoeuvres it in such a fashion that it ends up in a collision course with the car. And it impales its this car impales itself on the tank. Aye. But uh, Mad Vogel doesn't care that it only just blasts it off, man. Aye. Uh, the other one, the, the cannon at the side, uh, and they puts a rock in it. <laughs> so so fiendish. So fiendish. So uh so bugs bunny. Aye. But I, I, I think that would work, but because see really when these things explode, it's when like impact, doesn't matter how big the thing is. So sees it comes out the barrel, they hurt that right away and just went. Good shout, mate. Good <clears> shout. I never thought it that way. It's just the way it, it's after it's exploded, it's curled up at the end. Uh, <laughs> like, curled. See, this is another thing, one of the like four pas fucking Nick was talking about last night. Uh, uh, so Henry gets scalped in the motor, they're having a wee tussle and all that in the tank. <clears throat> and uh, Indy jumps on the tank. And he shoots three Nazis with one bullet. They're all lined up perfect for him. Which is excellent, <laughs> aye. aye. He shoots them with a luger in it instead of his re uh, revolver. I see when the luger falls into the tank and just lands. You see Mad Henry just pure eyeball on it. <laughs> oh. But he's fight the Indies then fighting with Vogel on top of his tank, isn't he? And then aye. it's like the be... Germans are laughing, aren't they? Aye. He's looking for a wee, a wee scope thing, isn't he? I had a periscope, they're in the tank laughing. Uh, the general, is that the decider? And, <laughs> and he just kicks it. <laughs> knocks him out, man. Aye. Aye. That's when uh, Senior fucking 
sorts it in that tank, didn't he? <laughs> oh, brilliant. As a Nazi kind of got him, grappled him for the back, um, tried to shoot him with a luger, and then Henry just pulls his fountain pen out and squirts it in his eyes. <laughs> I don't know, and it's just CV Marcus again. Isn't it funny? The pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> and it does a mad laugh after it. Mightier than the sword. Super <laughs> <laughs> man. Oh. So but Henry I... goes up to the other side cannon and blows up a truck full of Nazis, which is brilliant, man. I saw the wee bodies flying and all that. Aye. But Marcus goes out. Like, Look what you did. God <laughs> damn it, man, it's war. <laughs> I've heard war. Oh. So, Indy's on the side of the tank. He's managed to get himself impaled on the side gun. And this is what I'm talking about. How did he strap that in an impossible way? Also, he could have just come out of it <laughs> <laughs> at any time. But for obviously a movie effect, he's impaled on this thing. You can't escape. He's against the, the brick wall and he's coming up to a, a dead end of the brick wall and he's going to get crushed, man. Aye. But... <laughs> uh, seniors inside the tank wrestling with an accident, he? And uh, the gun goes off and a stray bullet hits the, the driver and he you just see this wee river of blood coming out his head, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> that boy seems happy at his work, by the way. Oh, he does, he's loving it. <laughs> I bet he does the, again, like we said last week, the old, oh, I've died, I'm going to fart on the controls. Uh, <laughs> and the tank turns away for the brick wall. Indy's spared. And right there and then, Indy does a Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Gets all energised and climbs back onto the tank, doesn't he? This is what I'm saying, I know. How the fuck does he get off it? How does he become untangled? Because he just, unless he takes the satchel off, I don't know if he's got the satchel later on after that, but I don't uh, know. Ends up a chapter of tanks absolutely full of people. Aye. Marcus, how does one get off this thing? <laughs> Aye. And then uh, Andy has to save his dad, doesn't he? Because he ends up on the tracks. Aye, and he uses Andy. the whip. <laughs> Aye. Grabs him. And while he's holding on to his dad, he's getting punched hell out of the Vogel, isn't he? Nah, he's a bad bass at that Vogel. No nice man. Aye. But then real Salah comes, rides beside with a horse. Again, how fast are these horses? Salah! <laughs> <laughs> and all the meanwhile this tank is heading towards a massive cliff into it but, just having Vogel in the tank been, and it's going towards the big cliff edge chasm if, if you will aye. and Indy sees it coming so they're struggling struggling Indy just looks up and his hat blows off aye, aye which is good because it kind of tells you like fucking <laughs> but <laughs> he goes to jump off us and obviously gets it looks like he's been caught on the stuff on the back yeah, it right back up. Aye. but then the tank goes there with Vogel attached to it and then <laughs> I know it's back in the day right but it's like a wee toy tank is smashed to bits with this wee guy and he's still stuck to it even when he rolls <laughs> Aye. I mean see if that tap sinks in a tank come off between him and the rocks, Aye. it had just been like busting a balloon full of red paint when it off. Oh. But it's good to watch. Now, it doesn't do the usual. Everything that comes off a cliff explodes. Pish. Do you know what I mean? So I say, uh, would you call it real motion effects? But Aye. I much rather preferred them because Vogel in the way done was a bit of CGI and it was a bit mm, shit. But that was good. And he got, he got, he got his man. He got his <laughs> uh, But they all think Indies did, didn't they? They uh, all went down at this tank, and it's just that's a heart heart wrenching moment. That I remember <laughs> takes you back. It really does. And they're at the end of the cliff, and you see Sean Connery's acting here again. He runs up. He's all concerned at first, and then he just has that realization, <gasps> and his eyes open, and he's just yeah. realized my, my son's. Aye, Away. gone. Aye. Mm -hmm. Aye. Just, uh, what does it say to Marcus? I, I just wasn't ready. <laughs> I never told him anything. Five Aye. minutes would have been enough, Marcus. Aye. Aye. Just too, it's funny, but he was and he just, he climbs up and he's obviously fucked, you know what I mean? And he just, he's looking at him, looking at the cliff, and he goes, 
and looks there. What? Who are we looking at? <laughs> but see when I just looks there and like. <laughs> <laughs> he can't <laughs> say anything. Henry realizes and grabs him. Aye. That's pure heartwarming, man. Aye. Thought I'd lost you, boy. <laughs> you did too, sir. <laughs> he's all man. smiles because he's got a hug off his dad, and you're like, oh, well, and up thinking about it, man. Aye. But then, no sooner is the moment over. All right, come on, we've got something to go on with. <laughs> How about it? Aye. He walks away. <laughs> and then uh, just that again. Andy's hat good. comes back to him, doesn't it? <laughs> I just get the ever so light. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and he's hat just blown in. Like, yes! Uh, Amazing, man. But the next thing. Why are you sitting there resting when we're so close to the end? <laughs> uh, the next thing. Uh, the good guys enter the tomb, isn't it? Aye. Oh, where the grail has been kept. Which yeah. is a real place that exists in Jordan, doesn't it? Ah, that's it, that's it. And then Elsa, uh, Donovan, the Nazis, and the Sultan's volunteers are all there. <laughs> Not aye. a wee. Aye, it's just a wee guy get in, doesn't he? Aye. He gets beheaded with something you don't know, but the heat, his heat just comes rolling back out. Yeah, he's walking uh, and he's absolutely ringing with a sweat, man. Aye. Uh, he's walking past his dead pals. Aye. And it's quite a groovy bit when you see the cobwebs morphing like ghostly Aye, exactly he I mean, he'd just rolls out after that ah uh, there we get another volunteer please <laughs> <laughs> and obviously they, well heroes they get discovered didn't they by the Nazis had forced it even the way the, the Luger comes in and Marcus is just looking at it <laughs> he's like a, a fucking Labrador isn't he <laughs> brilliant man oh. But Donovan needs Indy to get in here, doesn't he? Because all oh, he knows he can do it. And he's a he, pure sinister at this bit, man. Because he's pointing the gun at Indiana, obviously. And he's shooting me, isn't he going to get me to get in there? And he went, you know what? You're absolutely right. And without thinking about it, he just turns around, shoots Henry in the stomach, right. doesn't he? That's it. He goes down. And it's... When Elsa is pure upset, she's, oh, she goes to go for him. Get her back. Uh, get Back! <laughs> I didn't sign up for this. I know. It was so wonderful. But uh, it's a case of Andy needs the grail to save his dad. Aye. So. Well, it's pure sinister. And, I mean, you're, you're not used to your father if you're dead. Aye. Get that fucking cup, you bastard. <laughs> Andy starts walking up the stairs and he's looking at the book. <laughs> and this is when Henry gets his memory back <laughs> about what's in the book, you know what I mean? Aye. Dependent Aye. man. And it's and he gets through, and he obviously's like, Yeah, he has to kneel, so he ducks and avoids these big, massive pizza cutters that oh. come out the wall. <laughs> Aye, just... he ducks and misses that, but just as well, it took upon him to do a forward roll and all, but because that big Aye. blade coming up after it. <laughs> No sooner as he, he dodged the blades and he's got the rope in and he's stoked them. I'm through. It's by the first stage. Next one's the, the word of God in it. Aye. Uh, word of God is apparently Jehovah. But in the old text, which is true, seeing little Latin and all that shit, eyes were jays. You know what I mean? That's how they look very similar nowadays. Because uh, Henry's just lying there. But in Latin, Jehovah starts with an eye. <laughs> Jay, <laughs> and that leans right back to the opening act when he's told Junior to count to ten in Latin. You know what I mean? Aye, he's fucking it. Latin. So and he gets through the first J, and he's obviously he's hanging there and all that, and it's just a big vast catacomb chasm. Aye. That's pretty cool, man. He gets back Aye. up anyway. Aye, and then the next thing we come to this, it's like the path of God, isn't it? And it's just this big chasm, which was brilliantly done, by the way. <laughs> See what it you was. think about it. Mm -hmm. Just amazing. And Andy steps out into nothing, but it turns out there's like a camouflaged like bridge reaching across this big chasm. Aye, because it's a leap of faith. And Henry's lying there. You've got to believe, boy. You've got to believe. And you see Harrison Ford again acting fucking tremendously. Aye. Just goes for anxiety up to 11 to 
calm, hand on the chest and the fat out. Maybe sitting on the edge of my seat, first time I've seen it. It just <laughs> rocks forward. And as, as you say, mate, it's perception in it. Aye. It just looks to the side and you can see the bridge. Uh, it's amazing, man. Absolutely Aye. amazing. Superb. And it flings back a wee trail of dirt. So that they can see <laughs> it. So you can see it. Very next time he sees this night, doesn't he? Just sitting there. Just fucking waiting on his bus. <laughs> <laughs> I've read this Bible every day for the last 700 years. I know, man. Who was that? I know how this ends. <laughs> but he's supposed to protect the, the grail, isn't he? But for the age he is, he must be, what, 700 year old or something now? Aye, uh, so, whereas he's had eternal life, he's not eternal youth. Do you know what aye. I mean? He's Maybe that was the age he got there. Don't know. Uh, maybe I. But um, he has a swing at Indy and then he goes to do that with his sword and it's too heavy for him when he falls back. <laughs> and he's obviously a, a classically trained thespian actor, this guy, whose name escapes me. I did write it down, but no. I forgot it. And he's like, knew you'd come. <laughs> <laughs> You're strangely well, dressed for a night. Nice <laughs> <laughs> soon. Nice soon. Donovan and Elsa are through, aren't they? I think he's just about to fill him in. Look, I'm not here to vanquish you. I've got to tell you that that's enough. Aye. Move back. <laughs> I fucking... Oh, what, what, what? Because the, the whole thing's littered with cups, isn't it? Grails. And what one is it? And Elsa, obviously. And I reckon on purpose, picks the Ryan Grail for Donovan to drink out of. Aye. And... <clears throat> A, a story standpoint and all, Walter Donovan is one of the biggest collectors of antiquities and donators to the museums throughout America, mm. and he didn't get that. Aye. <laughs> Whatever, but... Do you know what I mean? But she gives him the, this big, like, golden Aye. chalice with rubies and diamonds encrusted, Aye. and he looks at it and he's on and on, and he goes, yes, this definitely is the cup. Of the King of Kings. <laughs> <laughs> and then he drinks it, didn't he? And just this. Just before he does, the wee, the wee, wee, wee night warns him, didn't he? Aye. Oh, uh, what is it? For the, the, the Holy Grail will bring life. Choose poorly. And will bring death. <laughs> yeah, take it from you. So he takes some man, swallows it. And uh, very he starts quickly. calling that. That was near gear. <laughs> <laughs> That was council. I've paid for the <laughs> prop. That's shocking, mate. So very quickly starts to notice oh, what's happening to me and his agent. And Aye. again, effects wise, I can't he beat it, man. Aye. By the time it came out, it was ILM. It done it obviously. And the best bit I think is when he grabs Elson. What's happening to me? <laughs> her face and the back of his head, and the hair just starts growing out, man. Aye. Ah, it's tremendous, man. Tremendous. Well, even see for the nowadays, it is well done. Right. But he chose poorly. Because <laughs> <laughs> when he's rattled against the wall, he just turns to dust. It's just the wee Nazi emblem that's left. Aye. That's what happens to bad people. <laughs> but the next thing it leaves, though, and do you pick a, a cup, didn't it? Aye. And he obviously picks this wee fucking rotten looking one. That's the. This looks like the the cup of a carpenter. Aye, and still got gold in line in right enough. Hey, <laughs> but see the way he drinks it, fucking all the self and all that, and he's like, ah. the wee knight just goes, "You have chosen wisely." <laughs> but be warned, immortality appraise the price. Don't cross the great seal. Aye. You can stay here alive as long as you want, but if you get saved, that's your jiggered. Aye. Um, and Indy runs back to his dad pretty good bullet wind pours the water on the bullet wind gives him something to drink and pours the rest of the water on the bullet wind and it just washes away the hole and it's Aye. decent man Aye. disappears in it but Elsa she goes fucking well you see Henry he's looking at it like this thing I've studied all my life and now I finally see it I can get to hold it and stuff Come on, Indy. It's ours. Yours and mine. <laughs> <laughs> she goes fucking mental, didn't she? Elsa. Diamonds! <laughs> Elsa, honey, don't cross the seal. The night warned us. Uh, another while, 
Salah has picked up a machine gun, points it at the Nazis, goes, drop your guns, please. <laughs> <laughs> Elsa crosses the seal and it sets off a chain reaction. Aye, big as, elf. As there always is in, in the films. Aye. Movie traps. <laughs> but obviously the, the grunt opens up, right? And then there's a part, there's a bit where <laughs> she's dropped the grill, right? But she dives for it and she literally punches it further away. <laughs> <laughs> Aye. I'm like, uh, what is your fucking problem? I know, it's your deal, mate. You get gloves on and everything. Oh, dear. So it's filled in the, the, the opening, but it's hurt the first ledge, and Elsa slides down. She's just about to fall. Aye. And Diana slides in, grabs her, and catches her with one hand. So she's dangling off with one hand. But the, the grail's just within reach, and she's like, I, I can almost get it. I, I, oh, I, I. And, and give me your other hand, honey. I can't hold on. And obviously, she's got leather gloves on. Aye. Flips out his hands and falls to her death. She's still falling to this day. <laughs> Free falling. <laughs> she's like Zod and Non and <laughs> Spot. That yeah, is assaulted. Uh, when did you get here? Oh, right now, about 77. <laughs> so, um, and they can't save her, but then there's another rumble. Then he falls off, and he's just about to fall. And his dad catches him with one hand. Aye. Exact same scenario as he's just done five seconds before. Excellent bit of writing, that man. Excellent Aye. bit of writing. And he's going through the same bit. Look, I can almost reach it, dad. I can almost get it. But rather than shout, Give me your hand, give me your hand, he just goes, Indiana. <laughs> and that perks up. He's my dad's talking to me. Uh-huh. Land. <laughs> no, and it's, it. aye. it's just and then the guy that's important in the grill. Aye. No, I mean, oh. aye. I mean, and obviously, and you have to oh, vote. <laughs> it's not time to make a change. Just relax. Take easy. <laughs> oh, superb, man. But in a generation. Do, 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 do. <laughs> There's other father and son songs, but I'll spare you, man. Oh. But I <laughs> next thing, Andy's out of the, the opening, isn't he? And they look here and they see the night. And <laughs> I just get the feeling that night's like that. One fucking day you were here. One fucking day. <laughs> I've been sitting here for 700 years. Uh, and fucking. it must have been like that. A little help. <laughs> so, I, <laughs> don't you forget about me? <laughs> uh, um, you just you, you rest underneath that mountain. You <laughs> oh, Henry gets to see him, and that's enough for him. He's, he's seen the grail. He's seen the night. He knows nice. it was all true, and that's enough for him. Um, so they just get out of there in time. The smoke comes out to follow him, and that's it. We're heroes of one the day. Aye. He does say to uh, Indy, he goes, Elsa never really believed in the grill. She believed in the prize. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that was ultimately a downfall. So what did, what did you get out of this, Dad? Me? Illumination. <laughs> <laughs> and then you kind of get, you finally let three films into it. You get actual Indy's real name. Aye. You know what I mean? <laughs> what is it with this junior? <laughs> that's, that's his name. Harry Jones Jr. I like Indiana. We named a dog Indiana. <laughs> you were named after the dog. <laughs> <laughs> and again, that's the name of George Lucas's dog. That's right. And it's, oh. it is a lot of fond memories of that dog. <laughs> Next thing, me, Marcus goes, Follow me. I know the way. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> Lost in his own museum, eh? <laughs> Lead the way, Junior. Yes, sir. Yeah! Dun, 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 that's it. Dun. You just get the four of them riding off into the sunset, don't you? And that's it. And, and even that's... Riding off into the sunset, you can still see the silhouette and they catching up to Marcus. And Aye. And his <laughs> <laughs> And that is where Indiana Jones films should have stopped. That is. There was a clue in the title, mate. Last Crusade. Yeah. You know what I mean? Uh, but obviously, we... money, money talks. I know, I know. And Crystal Skull was going along quite f- 
quite all right until it got to aliens, you say? <laughs> What's wrong with all the historical artifacts and Bible stories in the world and any other religious faculty that we could have explored, but no. Aye. Aliens. But we're not talking about that. As we said before, uh, we started this, mate. 10 out of 10 for both Yep. 10 perfect. out of 10. The perfect film. The perfect, Aye. which should have been finale to a trilogy. Yep. Uh, after two absolute blockbusters. Aye. Not so a lot you can say about franchises. On that scale that everyone's a winner. You know what Aye. I mean? Aye, they all delivered. Have you got a have you got a, a Glaswegianism of it? <laughs> <laughs> Indiana Jones and <laughs> I never thought one, mate, for a wee change. Uh, you thought one? Indiana Jones and the last big walk. And then a Jones, I'll not be back. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, uh, the last wee wonder. Oh. <laughs> last wee wonder. And then a Jones, and I'm out for out with a dog. <laughs> right, so there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Have you got one for next week? Any you said you had? Aye, I do. Well, it nearly got changed because of all that Holy Grail stuff and all that. It was nearly Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Oh. But since I've not seen it in mega years. We'll stick with Steven Spielberg and we'll do War of the Worlds. Tom Cruise? Aye. Uh, but I'll wait, mate. I love that film. Days. No seen it in fuck knows how long. So I really do love that film. It coincided with a wee bit after it, obviously, but Signs, when Signs Aye. came out, that took me, that film, that just grabbed me in Night Shyamalan, tension building and all that. War of the Worlds, you've got that as well. It's just, we'll talk about it also next week. It's absolutely brilliant and it's another one of the ones that's been panned in it, underrated. And I don't know why. Maybe we'll see it within this, but we'll, we'll find it <laughs> again. It's more what you don't see about these Aye. films that's more intriguing. Anyway, I will let you go. Get on with the rest of your day off, my sir. Yes. Um, and I've certainly enjoyed that. <laughs> uh, our situation has not improved. <laughs> It really has, not he? Yeah, because I've got to go back and... I need to do any man. So, guys, thanks for your likes, thanks for your shares. Please keep doing it, because uh, it gives us a buzz. Aye. And tell your friends. Um, I think we've held back no too bad on the swearing this week, although when I listen to it back, we'll see. And, uh, but for now, cheerio yes. bye. Cheerio bye. I'll be the last one left when the lights go out I'm down to one last breath, but I can't stop now We all fall down sometimes, yeah, but that's just life So cross my heart and hope to die, baby, I was born to Fight the fear when I feel like dying I'm trying to fly high, but I'm not a pilot, can't deny it There's some days I feel idiotic, just a product of a system where you're lucky just